My name is Adam Frank. Uh, you can call me Frank if you want to critique. Um, here's some things I did. Um, but what I mostly do is I build software every day uh, with some of my favorite people in the world. Uh, vehicle in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. Any Canadians here? Okay, great. Well, my coworkers. <laughs> I'm glad I took those hockey jokes out. Uh, I'm still upset about season seven and eight of Game of Thrones, and uh, as of just over a week ago, I'm a core contributor to Pina. It wasn't a grammatical comma, that was an important comma, okay? Um, one, of the, one of the reasons I wanted to do this lightning talk because I wanted to share a little bit about my job, which I love, and then show you something I made. Well, it's a little, it's a little lightning talk, I guess. Um, a vehicle we call my role the navigator because if we're driving a vehicle, my job in the vehicle would be to navigate my team to the finish. Um, my personal goal, though, as a navigator is three part. The first and foremost is to care about my squaddies. Then my next objective is to grow with my squaddies. And then once I've accomplished those two things, then we're delivering software. Um, I liken myself in a lot of ways to Steed Bonnet, the gentleman pirate. At first he wants to make sure his pri pirate crew is cared for. Then he wants to make sure his pirate crew is engaging in personal and professional growth. And then, they can, uh, then they're ready to assault the main uh, royal fleet. Uh, and as part of ensuring that these goals happen uh, is through our core practices. So we have daily growth sessions, which is a portion of our day where we hone our skills and we work with people that aren't necessarily on our small squad. We do weekly one-on-ones. Those are scheduled one-on-ones, not when I get to it one-on-ones. Uh, and good day, great day, which is a talk on its own. So if you want to know more about those other practices or you have some of your own that uh, you feel accomplish those three goals, I'd love to hear, uh, hear about them. I'm always looking for new things for my team. Uh, and blah, blah, whoops. <clears throat> uh, another one is our morning sheet. So our squad starts the day with the morning sheet because we mob program for an hour and a half in the morning and an hour and a half in the afternoon. And the morning sheet helps us coordinate and exchange a lot of important information in a short amount of time. This is what it looks like. It's just a Google Doc, and we co-edit it as a team, and we fill it out every morning. So the structure of it is we got action points from Retro from last week. We have process changes that we've agreed to try this week, uh, meetings and events, active tasks, completed work, and speed bumps that we want to flatten. But the one that I think is the most spe special and is what my talk is about is the traffic light. The traffic light is simple. Every team member gives themselves a color in the morning, green, yellow, or red. It's a way of asking, like, how are you today? Um, the colors have no prescribed meaning, necessarily. And the most important part is that the, my squaddies are not expected to have to qualify or explain why they're the color they are today. They don't have to, I'm red because this. It's just, I'm red in end of, end of, end of story. It's fast, and despite there being no defined meaning of the colors, it can be really useful information to have about each other. Like maybe I can offer my ear to them, or you know, maybe an extra one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe they need someone to talk to. Maybe they just want to be left alone. I don't know. But there's some problems with the traffic light that I would like to solve um, that I've noticed. Uh, one of them is uh, sometimes it can be exhausting to have to announce yourself as something when you're the only one, or like perpetually that thing. So I don't want my squaddies to ever feel like they're the other or the red one because they were red every morning. That just might make them feel worse. You know, nobody wants to be the one making sad trombone noises and stand up every day. Um, the second problem is that our lights are fluid. They change throughout the day. So just ha asking you in the morning how you're doing is, is not as effective because you, maybe at lunch something happened, right? And maybe you, you feel better or maybe you feel worse. Um, so I made a thing. Uh, it's a, just a little prototype app to tackle these problems. It's a Chrome extension. You can find it on GitHub if you want to browse through the code while I do my talk, because uh, it's limited time, so uh, I, I can't go over all of it. But since I've been working mainly with React and React Native and Unity and other, other things the past couple of years, I wanted to make it in view to kind of catch up. And hopefully it inspires more of you to go for it and submit your own lightning talk. I mean, you're listening to me because there's 
not, <laughs> not enough of you <laughs> submitted lightning talks, so here I am. <laughs> I think they're the one of the best, one of the best parts. Um, and although I'm a professional software developer, I consider myself a perpetual novice. Like most of you, I'm here to learn. And I'm always learning, and I'll tell you something like, a lot has changed in you over the past two years. <laughs> it's like a wormhole. So uh, that means I've learned a lot, and I want to share it with you. So here we go, we gotta move fast. So the thing is, a very simple Chrome extension where you can enter a team key, add your name, and update your current traffic color. The other squaddies who have the room key can see your updates in real time. There's no off whatsoever, so they can also change your status for you or delete your name or the whole team. <laughs> There's some trust involved. This is a, an MVP. I mean, that means something to me still, at least. Um, so let me talk about some cool things I learned. There are some Vue CLI and Vite starter templates for Chrome extensions. Uh, here's one uh, by Antfood. Uh, it's uh, uh, I think this is it. I think this might. Yeah, this is WebEx. Yeah, this is it. Um, uh, he made it, it looks really good. I didn't use it. There's others out there. The one that I found first was uh, by Sanyu1225 from Taiwan. I, if you're here, I just want to compliment your avatar. It's badass. Uh, the shirt is literally exploding off of him. Uh, and this is the documentation for the setup, which at first seems brief, but it actually got me there. It makes this file structure, covered all my basic template needs for my extension, and getting my development setup was easy too. I run yarn build, which builds my extension into a disk folder, uh, like that. I go into the extensions manager in Chrome, I put that boy into develop remote, and then I click load unpacked, and then select the disk folder. Boom, apt. Um, the next thing I learned was the manifest file. You know, it's a core of every Chrome extension, and it's where you tell the browser what files contain, contain your apps. But according to the documentation, um, manifest v3 represents one of the biggest shifts in extensions platform since it launched a decade ago. So that is to say that if you're gonna roll the dice and check Stack Overflow for help, you might wanna limit your results to within the past year. Yeah, I'll get you. Um, the script setup syntax, that was new to me. Uh, last view comp, the composition API kind of scared me a little bit, so I didn't like, want to try it, I just stuck with what I knew. Um, but I really like the look of it. It's less code, and for me personally, it's like how I want to write my uh, components. Um, Firebase, Firestore. So I want to be able to store information on a computer for an extended period of time, but I mainly look, make buttons look pretty. And so like, I went with Firebase because I want to skip the part where old PHP devs tell me I'm not a real boy on the internet. So Firebase is awesome for that. Yeah, here's some things I get to do for free. Uh, you know, there's the get doc where I get a reference to a document in Fire, Firebase. Um, I can create new documents with add doc. Um, and if I want to set a team member color, I get a reference to the member in Firestore, and then I call the update doc function with the new data. I also learned about uh, on Snapshot. It's dope. They, you basically have a function where you have a reference to the document and then a callback of what happens when that document changes. Super easy, I found it anyways. Um, and I get real-time updates. So I'm gonna actually, uh, done with that for you. And if, if I'm starting to run out of time, would someone say, because I'd like to just, I'll wrap it up if you can. No, but. One minute. Okay, gotcha. Whew, all right. Um, and then this is on a different screen. So, so I log in, I go to cool team, and I get it. Yeah, and then this, these guys are gonna, so uh, pretend you're a different person. You're over here, cool, you're on the cool team. And then I click here, and that, you see you got a little real-time updates. And I got that with, for basically free. I didn't, I, I don't know how this works. <laughs> uh, some other stuff I learned, uh, and then I got, I probably got like, what, 20 seconds now? Chrome storage, there's like a difference between sync storage and local storage, which means that like it syncs with your Chrome, uh, your like uh, no, 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 your Google account. Uh, I learned about Pina, which is dope. I learned about Pina, which is extensible. I actually wrote a couple like plugins for it. Am I doing it right? No, probably not. Uh, and there's some other things I want to learn still. I want to learn about the the Vite templates. Um, I want to make it accessible for uh, any of my squaddies with uh, disabilities. Um, and I uh, want to actually release the extension. Uh, AppWrite, the guys over at the AppWrite table are like, you don't need Firebase, bro. And I was like, okay, well, uh, I already wrote the, the, 
talk, so. Um, <clears throat> and then authorization, of course, for bad actors. Thank you very much, my name is, uh, well, that's my email. I'm not on Twitter. I'm not on Reddit for mental health reasons. And uh, yeah, you can get in touch with me by that, or you can, you know, send a raven or something. Thank you. All right. Big round of applause for Adam Frank.